this is one of my prized possessions and uh, this is hype uh, <coughs> it's sort of it's not one of the original hype magazines it was put together later in uh i don't know when it was actually uh maybe i've got a date in here no i don't know do. um, it's not getting to me yet so um hype was a magazine that we were reading in the late 80s early 90s they're impossible to get hold of now impossible unless you go to check out i'll put his link in uh exit on instagram uh it was one of the twins exit and c's who uh who used to publish this magazine and they're doing reprints of them the originals pff, forget it collectors have scooped them up i've sold my collection long since ago and uh i really wish i hadn't because they're impossible to get hold of if if one comes on the market it goes for ridiculous amounts of money so this was a newer one that i think come out uh early 2000s i think from the hype vault and this is this is like a black book edition oh my god it's good take a look at this so a nice uh little um um piece <laughs> in the front recognizable character was that scheme who done that yeah scheme scheme character uh and that was by solo <coughs> solo one of uh visual orgasm back in the early 90s yeah brilliant brilliant Look at this stuff it's just you know i love love this sense of this reminds me of all that do-it-yourself stuff that we had in the 80s and 90s all that kind of rough kind of like just chuck it together gorgeous absolutely gorgeous look at this stuff look at it what a b-boy fantastic b-boy there yeah. says this was by bribe or uh also known as traffic really good so good that's a Joker character. Joker's character. There's another one later in, in this book that is just to die for. You see, look at it. I mean, look at all this stuff. It's absolutely wonderful. Proper old Black Book stuff. Look at these. They look like flyers. These look like... Uh, that looks like a, a flyer from a... So not, yeah, flyer for Radiotron. Early 90s USA. The Radiotron. Wow. In LA. That's a hex piece there, I think. Is that a hex kit? I don't know. I don't know who's done that. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely wonderful. More tosties there. Great B-boy. Just fabulous style, right? Really great graph style. Chunky graph styles. Right. Look at that big mass of stuff there. Prince, Sydney, late eighties. This guy was doing this stuff in the late eighties. Really good. Cracking styles. Nice little line up there. Beautiful scum, Germany. Mid nineties, that says. Prowler. Oh god, great. Trickster, Sydney. J. Lot of Aussie. This is, I should have mentioned that it's an Australian magazine. Loads of amazing graph coming out of Australia. There always has been actually, uh, but this era is absolutely golden for it. Look at this B-boy. The mad feeler. Rocking these feeler Velcros. Right. So good. Look at that crazy thing. I remember this guy, G-Rock. The, these characters were out of this world at that point. He was like, he was, he was like a professional level illustrator. When you look at it now, you go, yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Amazing. These wonderful characters as well. It's just absolute gold, isn't it? Absolute gold. Right, uh, that's exit. Some recognisable faces here. Wow, shock one. 
doesn't do this stuff anymore. <laughs> I really miss this stuff. This is shop stuff from when I first became familiar with him. He never did that many letters. He did some. You know, he used to do the odd letter piece, but mostly character king. He was. And is. Brilliant. Mode 2. Nice height throw you there. Throwy star. Oh, mad. I was thinking about that the other day. Great. <laughs> These twisty lead characters. Look at them. Mad ideas. Oh, this is Pike. From Sweden. Pike was a proper Swedish king. His work on the wall was incredible. Really incredible. Old school Swedish writer. Look at this. I love the way this is all put together. Just outline after outline. Look at that mad thing. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I would look at this sort of stuff back in the 80s and just thinking, oh God, I wish I could. Wish I could uh, design like that. We should get it together like that, with the flair and the funk of these guys, the Cheech Wizard. Oh, that's phase two. I recognise his writing. Yeah, straight away I recognise his writing. Um, I think I've mentioned before, a mate of mine was, um, it was a pen pal of phase two. A good few letters from him. And that is such a recognisable font. What an amazing font, right? Yeah, rest in peace, phase two. What an amazing guy he was. Brilliant grapher. Nice. Oh, there's G-Rock again. Another amazing character. Oh, his character's incredible. Just incredible. Oh, this guy. Um. Oh, who is this? Oh, it says fire there. Is that the fire? Oh. Actually, that's not who I thought it was. Um, yeah, really lovely style. I remember seeing his style around a lot. Around that time, sort of 90, 92, 92, 93. <laughs> Great characters. Is that shock? It is. It's shock. Wow. Interesting. Nice. Oh, late 80s. Classic. Jaws. By Jaws. Pretty sure that is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Oops, sorry. That's gorgeous. Lovely. Oh, a mad one. Detail pencil work there. Look at this character here. Wow, we there's a lot of work gone into that. Pawns, th th thc crew. Don't know them. What have we got there? Nice. Oh yes, this this guy. So this is scum again. That that style. I've seen that style around quite a lot. Yeah, this is the piece actually. This is the piece that I've seen before. This one. Brilliant. What what a character. Oh that's by is that by Scum again? Can't tell. Really lovely, but one in, in repose there as well. Back there. That's a beautiful thing. Oh I love chunky big sort of 3D graph. Lovely. Love these styles. These are the styles I grew up on. I know a few of you did as well. I'm sure this is absolutely doing it for you, like it's doing it for me. <laughs> God, that. Oh, that's, um, that looks like, no, it can't be the guy I'm thinking of. No, I was thinking of Pinky from York in the UK. Maybe it's not him. There's another guy. Ah, oh, God. Do you know what? I'm a, I've reached the age where uh, names are starting to uh, drop out my head. Lovely bit of Bode down there as well. Is that actual Bode? Is that writer inspired Bode? I can't tell, but it's really. Well, let's have a look. Short was taken from Legend of Vaughan Bode, influential artist by all writers. Yeah. That looks really 
looks like Pike again. Yep, Pike. See why I recognise it? Because his work on the wall has got this stuff in it. All these swirls and stuff. But he used to do like loads and loads of different colours and stuff. It was a great wall that I saw in Hip Hop Connection years ago. A Pike. Stuff stays with you, you know. Good stuff always stays with you. Uh, that's Exit, yeah. He used to go by the name of Broke as well, Exit. So you might know him as Broke. And uh, he, he's brilliant, brilliant artist. True creature of chaos, you know. Sketchy graph, real sort of, you know, rough edges, all that. You know, really throws it down. Very gifted artist. He's still around, he's still doing it. Ah, uh, this guy, <laughs> this man here. Moto, 1985, he was doing these characters. Look at, this is like the grainy quality of them as well. That's not photoshopped. That's the fact that these things, so in the old days, we just used a hand round uh, photocopies of them. And they were photocopied so many times that, <laughs> that this is the quality <laughs> that you'd end up with. Really, really rough, but you can still see, it's this, they're so well illustrated that you can still see them really nicely. God, they were brilliant. He was brilliant. He is brilliant. Mm. Incredible. 85. God damn. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, lovely. Have a look. Have a look. Mm. Bit unexpected. Oh, it's b-boying. Bra breaking. Mm. I was a crap breaker, just couldn't really do it, so I never really got off on it. I think it was I think it's amazing, but I was never really good at it, so I didn't get as excited about it. Graph was different. I thought if I work hard at graph, I'll get better at it. And I was right. Isn't that amazing? Slightly X-rated, I think. Uh, so uh, I better turn over a bit. Just in case YouTube take exception to that one. Nothing particularly on yeah, we know pencil illustration it. This is that Joker character. Look at that character. Look at his that face. That is brilliant. Simple lines, beautiful form, fantastic. Really good. I think this is that all Joker as well. Damn, that's a great character, isn't it? So brilliant. Really cool. Prince from Sydney again. Oh no, hang on. No, that's Prince from Sydney. That's uh that's exit again. I wouldn't recognise that. Very nice. Real feel of a sort of uh, late 1980s fanzine about it. This this magazine, that's why I love it. Absolutely love it. I can't remember when he put put it out. Was it saying Risk and Hex? Yeah, both these guys absolutely amazing. L.A. Kings. Yeah, I can't remember when I bought this, but I'm really glad I did. I mean, I've missed a fair few of my time as well, believe me. I've missed out on... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Um, press 1, B-Boy Summit, USA. Great. Yeah, I'm really glad I got this one, though. Then an iron lac add on the back. Yeah, there we go. So there we go, from the Hyatt Vault. Amazing, right? Absolutely brilliant black book work. Enjoy.